Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. My name is Anamika and I am a proud faculty in Department of Journalism and Mass Communication at IIMT Group of Colleges in IMT College of Management. Well, in this lecture, we will discuss about website and its types. So let us move forward and know that what do you understand by website? To know what is website, first we need to know the history of website. Well, in 1989, www, that is World Wide Web, was developed by Tim Berners-Lee, the British CERN physicist. The World Wide Web was later announced to be used free and that was the best decision that was taken. And this was the history of website when the website became so popular just because of its free usage. If we talk about the announcement, so it was commenced on 30th April in 1993. This led to the growth of the web. To retrieve individual files from the server initially, file transfer protocol that is FTP and the gopher protocol were used and is later replaced with HTTP that is hypertext transfer protocol. Well now, it's very important for all of us to learn the website definition or we can say the meaning of website, what it is. So a website is nothing but is it's a digital platform that comprising a collection of interconnected web pages, each containing multimedia content such as text, images, videos and interactive elements. It is identified by a unique domain name. Websites are hosted on web servers and accessed through internet browsers. They serve diverse purposes, providing information, entertainment, communication and business transactions in a user-friendly online environment. Let's move forward and know about the types of websites. Today, when you go to any a browser you see many websites whenever you are searching anything either you are buying a product or you want to promote your product or you are looking for any information there are lots of websites for example you are looking for a study material you are searching through keywords or key phrase on google browser or other browsers that are available so there are multiple websites on the screen and you can check out that which information is available on which website. So these are basically the types of websites. So let us discuss about those websites one by one. Okay, so the first one we have, this is the personal website. Personal website is created by individuals like us, like you. So this is to showcase personal information. This can be portfolio, this can be a blog or any other creative work. For example, you, you are an actor or maybe uh, you are an artist, I must say. You want to have your own website so that you can show your work, you can show uh, your skills to people through your website. So this is something when you can create a personal website. It, it contains your personal information. Okay, for example, there is a model, so they can mention their height, their weight, their complexion, their works, where they worked, uh, with which organization they worked, and what they are looking for. Okay, and if they are hiring for somebody, so they can post that into that personal website. So there are a lot of things that you can do. So the main functions that I uh, discuss in all my lectures mostly, and with my students in most of my classes, that the main functions of media is to entertain, to educate and to inform. So these three functions are majorly played by websites also. Okay, so the personal websites are the websites where you can post something related to you, either to inform people about you, to aware about you or to entertain your audience through your skills or your work. Okay, so let us move ahead and know about the second type of website. So the second type of website that we have is business website. Okay, what do we understand by business website? It's understood by the word, it's business. Okay, so the business websites are mainly or majorly 
dedicated to promote products services and establishing an online presence for business for example you are running a business okay you have uh, a business of anything maybe fabric or apparels i must say so you want to promote that you want to showcase you want to show a segment of apparel that you have you have men section you have women section either you have unisex or you have kids section so you can show that on your website so that will be business website okay something related to that is e-commerce website this is very popular these days that we have seen a lot of websites where there is an option for shopping for example you will see um Facebook, there is also a marketplace that we call the particular term for that. So people are buying that. Okay, there is Amazon. Uh, they also have their own website. For example, Flipkart and Misho and uh, Argeo. So there are a lot of, lot of websites from where we are buying. And since the pandemic, the time of pandemic, now we, most of us, we are happy well of online shopping because you don't need to carry a bag and go to the market to buy anything. So, e-commerce websites are very popular these days. What do we understand by e-commerce website? Let us know. So, it facilitates online buying and selling of goods and services just like business website, incorporating shopping carts and secure payment system. So, e-commerce websites also have a method or uh, have an option to make the payment. Either it will be collaborated with a UPI or any other mode of payment system or there will be an option okay so that you can make the payment directly on the website if, for example you need to buy something okay so you can go to a website you can choose a, a goods or services or a product you can add that to cart if you are looking to use that in future also or if you are looking to get the service uh, at the same time so you can go to the buy section and just make the payment okay so these are the e-commerce website well there are a lot of types of websites i must say but today we are going to discuss the major types of websites so three are the personal business website and the e-commerce website so these are the website that is important more important websites we have more so in the next slide we will know about it so let us have a look on the screen and see the fourth website the I must say it is also one of the most popular website today because India is a land of education from the time of its history. If you will see any history book, there is Nalanda, Takshila. So to improve the education quality, we are being digital available in all the sector. So this is also one of the sector called education. So education websites are also available where you can have the uh, learning resources you have availability of courses mentioned on the websites. You can have educational content for students and also for the professional people. For example, I'm here. Okay, I need to prepare notes for students and I need help to learn ahead that I do not know or maybe to enhance my knowledge. I want to learn more, uh, maybe deeply for my exam. Okay, for higher education. So I can take help from the educational websites from uh, maybe it can be the UGC website, University Grant Commission or higher education website. I can learn so much from there. Okay. So education websites can be related to schools, colleges. It can be one of the website that is providing you information in terms of education. So there are a lot of education website that we have. Okay. And it's just not for the students because uh, everybody is learning. Everybody is a student, either a teacher. Teacher is also a student who is learning from our student. I think so that I am a teacher and I'm learning from my students. Okay. So there are a lot of things that we learn every day. Okay. So the next website that is the most important for especially media students, that is news websites. I must say media websites. Okay. What is media website or what is news website? It is a website that provides up-to-date news and information on various topics, often categorized for easy navigation. Well, the best part about uh, this word easy navigation is 
when you can easily navigate when you can easily access to the website is easy navigation okay for example you are you are reading a newspaper okay you are reading news if you want to remember like in which newspaper i i read a news 3 days back on which page so you might be confused or if it's like you know um uh, it's very old like uh, a news that was one month before or three months back so it will be very confusing for us but on website as with the help of digital uh, platforms it's very easy to navigate so you can have up to date news you can find any corner of your interest you can find any kind of news on uh, assigned on any beat if you are working on so you can go to any news website it is easy to navigate and you can get news very easily okay so now let us go ahead and learn about the next website this is also one of the important website for journalism students i must say it's a blog or magazine website okay so blog or magazine websites are those websites where you can publish articles you can give your opinions you can post your stories on specific subjects and also there is niche audience okay so for example you are a good poet and you have multiple poems written by you and you want to run your own website where you want to post that so that you know it can reach to the audience people can know about your skills or you would like to share your knowledge with others or the style of your writing so you can do that okay there are lots of applications or websites available uh, in the market and uh, some are the some are free and some are paid so we call it uh, freemium when a platform is free and also paid like the better version is paid okay uh, another that we were talking about is blog so wordpress you might have heard about the blogspot.com okay so these are the websites where you can post your blog if you are a good writer you must try blogging okay so these are the blog or magazine website so we have more websites this is one of the website that most of the students are unaware about the term like portfolio websites so what it is it's it's very simple to understand like in one go you will understand this portfolio is basically when you have your own bio it's a bio data kind of thing when it showcases the work and achievements of individuals such as artists photographers or designers okay so these are portfolio websites for example if you will see if you want to know uh, about katrina kaif okay or if you want to know about the prime minister narendra modi so you will search and you will get the whole bio of that particular person uh, whom you are searching on internet so it's a portfolio website where there is you know uh, everything about that person or about that thing okay so that is the portfolio website next the most important and very informative and useful website i will say this is government websites so government websites are those websites these are the official platforms for government agencies okay these are like these are like government is there okay whatever information you are getting on website it's true okay and these are authentic data that you are getting from the government websites okay they are offering information services and also updates so for example i'll i'll give you an example so that you can understand it better okay government website is when you will see a link that is uh, that includes dot nic okay so it is government website and you will see lot of uh, websites where where uh, that is related to the ministry okay for example for media student you will go to davp website this is directorate of audio and visual publicity you can go for pti press trust of india or uh, you can try any other website okay like doordarshan you can go to prasar bharti so if you want to have any information about the government related things you can go directly to the a government website okay so these are the government websites that we call where we have information related to 
the things that are authentic and given by the government agencies only okay the the, the next uh, website we have is non profit websites if we talk about the non profit websites these are those websites who promote charitable causes like in the past few years at the time of pandemic and maybe before that as well when you might have heard about the kerala flood you might have heard about the kedarnath incident so when people are suffering and they need help you will find few websites where we can you know do some charity we can raise fund you might have heard about the uh, fund raised by uh, pm uh, narendra modi also at the time of pandemic so there are uh, there are lot of non profit websites they are not earning from this they are just doing the humanity work just the welfare work i will say okay so what do they do they share information and facilitate donations or volunteer participation either you can participate voluntarily uh, for example you can donate food you can donate uh, clothes to the needy people or you can give money if that's possible for you or uh, you can give uh, grains or maybe rice or whatever you have like eatable items so these are the non profit websites that do these kind of things and those who promote charitable causes and now you might have seen some websites who are giving you jobs okay for example nokri.com uh, linkedin website also is there for internship there is internshala and lot of examples i can mention here okay so when uh, one uh, through website when they connect employers with job seekers and they are allowing for job postings and resume submissions uh, monster.com uh and there there are lot of websites uh, available today okay on the, uh, on the browsers that you can visit and you can find a job as well there and you can post if you are hiring people like on linkedin i have seen lot of posts that people are looking for the candidate who can do that work or uh, there are lot of uh, people who are looking to change the job or who are looking for job so these kind of websites are job board websites okay these are the websites to give jobs okay government uh, websites are also one of them where you will see the vacancies for example there can be a, a particular ministry and if they are hiring so they will also Uh, post a circular on the website so that is also one of the job board website so this is basically everything is connected to each other but to categorized differently or to divide these websites we need to understand the particular thing of that website for example job board websites are just to uh, give us jobs if you are finding you can be an employer you can be an employee okay so here on the screen just have a look and it's an example of website this is the website of imt crit noida you can see uh, in the search box there is a link given imtindia.net once you will search this on any browser you will get this page you know you will get the information about the imt group of colleges crit noida okay so there are many examples you can go to choudhary charan singh university website you can go to imt university website you can go to imt news website or there are lot of websites and when you will search there will be lot of options so you need to find which one is right which one is for you which one is suitable and the best for you okay so now i think that when you are talking about the website its types and when we are talking about the www and it's all about the internet i i must say so at this time there are few abbreviations that we need to keep in mind and those are first one is url which is uniform resource locator so these are the important abbreviations that that can be asked in your exam either it's your uh, degree exam just regular exams or an entrance test so this is something to keep in mind for sure there are a lot of other abbreviations that you must learn but these are the important related to the website so the next is i even mention is it, this in the my uh, first slide it's http this is hypertext transfer protocol 
The third one we have is HTML. This is hypertext markup language. A lot of students are there who must have studied them in uh, school, but this is high time to revise when you are learning digital journalism and where you have a chapter called websites. And the next uh, abbreviation we have is CSS, that is Cascading Style Sheets. DNS, Domain Name System. What is FTP? FTP is File Transfer Protocol. Okay. The seventh abbreviation we have CMS, that is Content Management System. SEO, this is the popular thing I must say in digital marketing world. That is search engine optimization. When we are learning about websites, so this is just the game of SEO, how to bring a website on top, how to make it best to, uh, to your audience, to your target audience or the people who are searching with keywords or key phrases. So SEO is an important term to know. Okay. So these are the things, uh, there are a lot of things, what are web pages? So these are the pages that we have on website when you are visiting the first page that we say the home page, the end page is known as the last page. Okay, and when you are turning from first to second, that can be known or called as next page. Okay, or the second page and second to third, if you are jumping, that will also be the next page. Okay. So there are a lot of things that we need to learn the domains and um, you know, for website, how it should be. What are the things that you need to keep in mind? The first and the most important I can share here in this lecture is the content. If your content is good, your website will run so good. Okay. A lot of visitors will visit that website. People uh, will uh, have their online footsteps, I will say. Okay, and you will get benefit from that uh, for sure. Header should be good, footer should be good there. And the pictures, images or the elements that you are using, that should be of high quality. Okay, so in my next lecture, maybe I'll uh, discuss that in detail. But for today, we need to learn about the website and its types. Okay, so if you have any kind of doubt or maybe any suggestion, or you want to know more about the website or its types. So you can mail me. You can uh, send any query through email. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Or also you can mention in the comment section. I'll be there. Okay, so thank you so much for this lecture. I hope that it will be very useful for your exams and for your life. Thank you so much.